Hey folks, in my latest attempt at doing the completely insane, I decided to take this new development board I've got, which is a, uh, it's an STM32F4 discovery board, and I hooked up my uh, my organic LED display that I got from, from Adafruit a while back, and kind of stuck a, a SD card reader in there as well. It's kind of hard to see the lighting. I've got the camera turned down a bit because the uh, OLED is really bright and it'll saturate the, uh, the, the the camera pretty easily. But I've got an audio cable here. I've just got it running into my Mac, uh, my MacBook right now so I can amplify the audio coming out of it. Uh, fun part was trying to get the MP3 player going. Uh, once I got the MP3 uh, part of the player going, I came up with my own video format which stores just a bi-level, uh, series of bi-level images and really crude run level encoding or yeah run level encoding on it so um there is a decent amount of compression in the video he's uh the display is only 10 or 128 by 64 so it's not a very high bit rate at all um but the audio quality came out really good it's in stereo and the uh, refresh rate on on the display is pretty good and even with all this going the Microcontroller still sits idle about 80% of the time from what I can gather uh, from, from my programming. So there's still a lot of power left in this device and it'll probably uh, be even better once I've optimized my code a bit. So one of these days I hope to get a uh, color display so I can do 16-bit color. Right now I'm uh, using uh, four, uh, two four bit, or 4K buffers for the MP3 audio. Uh, so a total of 8K of RAMs being used for that. And I'm using um, I'm using double buffering for the display, so it's a uh, it's 1,024 bytes times two. So between audio and video, I'm I'm using 10k of a uh, of buffer. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this up. I've just got a video in here right now. It's a uh, it's a video my uh, my wife likes. It's a uh, Nightwish uh, story time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this thing power just to show people how it's running. And it loads up pretty quick, so once I give it power, it'll start up. I'll go ahead and disconnect the audio. So that's pretty much it for the for the player. Uh, the frame rate's really good. I do get 30 frames per second out of this and have run it as high as 300 frames per second with this code, but the display um, itself is really slow when it comes to to uh, writing from its internal memory to the uh, actual LEDs. So about 60 frames per second is about the best you can get out of these things realistically. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I will put up my source code once I clean it up a little bit. Uh, so far, there really hasn't been too many people that have uh, written video players for this thing yet. Uh, there are a few examples of MP3 code out there, but I wanted to do something different and uh, play around with the video format. So, there it is. Uh, please leave any comments, uh, criticism, compliments, whatever, and uh, I'll get the code up probably within a week on my GitHub. Thanks.